All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is fall in Salt Lake. Uh, well, probably by the time you see this, it'll be like winter or something, knowing how long it takes me to make them. But anyway, right now it is fall. And um, last fall, I shot some slide film up in Big Conwood Canyon. Um, I wanted to take a bunch of landscapes with it, but it took me forever and I shot it well into the middle of winter. So this time I'm gonna load up some slide film again. Got Sincia 100. Um, and this time I'm gonna do it down in the valley, down in Salt Lake, just take some neighborhood pictures with it. Should be a lot easier for me to finish. And this one's only 24 shots. So I haven't done a whole lot of research on Sincia. Um, from what I can tell, it's a little bit more of a consumer slide film compared to Provia and Velvia. Um, Velvia is what I shot last time and it actually worked out super well. Uh, so I'm not really sure what consumer grade slide film means and it probably won't really even make a difference because this is 20 years old. So whatever colors I get are the colors I get. Um, and yeah, loading it into the Bessa R3M. Absolutely adore this camera. It should be a super fun roll to shoot. go all set oh not gonna lie this has not been the most successful day uh basically finished recording that video and then the sun went behind a cloud so taking like one picture and it's the start of the roll so i don't even know if it'll come out but uh I'll try again next time all right well um Last time didn't work out that well. I don't even really know if I got any shots off at all. So uh, this will be my first shot. Uh, it's the next day, of course. But yeah, that'll be my first shot. You gotta watch it happen live. First one down. Um, yeah. I actually came out to the same neighborhood um, last time I was like over there filming, uh, but this time I'm here earlier with a lot more light, a lot more time to hopefully get through this roll. Well, the sun's kind of getting a little lower, uh, making it a little trickier to shoot with 100 ISO, but I have taken a fair amount of pictures. Um, I'm at 10 right now, so that's a pretty good amount. Uh, it's still really pretty, but just a little bit of clouds over on the horizon blocking some of the light, but I'm gonna keep shooting. I mean, definitely gonna stay out. It's an absolutely gorgeous day and uh, we'll see. So uh, the big drawback of 100 ISO slide film is that I'm tapped out. Um, it's a little too dark for me now. There's still a teeny bit of sun um, off on the horizon and there's plenty of ambient light, but uh, nowhere near enough for 100 ISO. So probably gonna have to call it for today. 
I did get to shot 14, so uh, got through a little over half of the roll, which is pretty good. Um, I'll probably just try to get through it throughout the rest of the week. So uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right, so we're back. Um, I don't have as much time tonight, so let's ride out the bike. Uh, I'm just gonna cruise around the abs and look for some nice trees. below f5.6 and 60th so there's a lot of light but I'm running out of it So um, the sun has set. I did not get through the open roll. Um, I'm at 20 out of 24 photos. So uh, like one more night and I'll probably finish it. It was a great night tonight, super pretty. Um, the sun just went down really fast and can't shoot for that long with 100 ISO. But uh, yeah, a couple more shots. So I'll see you next time. All right. so. Um, I'm back in the saddle, or uh, just riding my bike again. Um, got about five shots left, so just gonna bike around and look for some nice fall trees, and then probably talk to you when I get the film back. So here's the film, um, it worked out pretty well. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. There was a little bit of a red cast in the shadows, but that was pretty easy to fix in Lightroom. So uh, overall, I'd say it was a fine roll. I guess really the fun part uh, are these, uh, the fact that you can see the pictures on the film. It's like the best part about shooting slide film. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Not a lot for me in this little end clip. So um, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode.